Hi, today we're looking at how to calculate exponential growth from experimental data. So if you haven't seen the previous video, uh, we had done a lab uh, simulating growth, exponential growth in uh, using M&Ms. So if you haven't seen that video, uh, click on the link below to find that one. But now we have our data and we're going to try to make an equation for it, find out the average growth rate. So to find out the average growth rate, we're going to use percent change. We're going to look at how did it change from one trial to the previous trial. So in this case, from three to two, the difference from the new amount to the old amount is three minus two and then divided by the original amount. So in this case, we're going to get three minus two is one over two, so one half or 0.5. And then do that for the next one from four to three. And then from there, the difference of four minus three divided by the original amount, which was three in that case. And then the next one, seven to four, seven minus four is three divided by the original amount of four. And so we get each time we're calculating a different rate. And so what we're going to do is we're going to do it for the 10 trials, continue on, and then we're going to take the average. So the average is going to be adding up all the numbers and then dividing it by the 10 trials that we did. So we'd add up the 0.5 plus 0.333 plus 0.75 and then divide it by 10. And that will give us the average growth rate for this experimental data. Now with this information, then now we can actually create a graph and a function to, to match our graph. So the formula we're going to use for exponential growth is the following. And so that R is that growth rate we just calculated, our average growth rate. The C is the initial amount. How much did we start with? So we started with in trial zero with two M&Ms. And then time is t, and then that's the number of repetitions. So here I graphed the experimental data. And so what you're going to do is, using the numbers that we calculated for average growth rate, we can make an equation and plot this. And we're going to see how close it comes to our experimental data. All right, that's it for now. Best of luck.